this is a recap of my trip to um, uh, Ohio. We got Della Nicole, we got Josiah Vasile, we got the creeper in the back seat, Noah Lee up in here. Uh, not much, we're just kind of waiting for our mail to uh, arrive. Uh, we just saw him, we just saw him, uh, what? We just saw him around the corner, so I figure we'll just wait till the mail comes. Uh, and then we're just gonna head out but anyways i just want to kind of give you guys a little bit of recap uh about this trip to ohio this trip has been a trip and uh if you guys uh going to watch this video you're going to see the the intense and the struggle the intense and struggle with uh monica breaking down and uh which kind of brings me to this you know I just want to give God the glory. I want to give God the uh, credit for all of this. Uh, that God uh, worked uh, um, everything for those who trust and believe in Him. And He used all these awesome people along the way to help me get the car back up. So I'm so thankful to each and one of you guys out there watching this that actually have helped, have prayed, have sent a DM and encouraging to make sure that I make it uh, make it to the event, make it home safe to my family and kids. And uh, I'm just thankful for that. And God has been great. And uh, now I just have a big relief because this is all way past it. And we're here. And uh, that's kind of what I tell people, you know, it's like we go to these problems. We go to uh, this... Uh, uh, what's he call it uh, struggles and hurts and and uh, we don't see why we don't see uh, why is this happening uh, some people may say oh Vasile deserves it he's a bad dude no no God has a reason why uh, those things were happening to us uh, to myself to you to my children uh, is to uh, uh, build us up as we go through this uh, problems it's a way of us coming out of it and be victorious and be able to face stronger things in life that's gonna be thrown at us you know what I mean if we can't handle this problem for instance this car breaking down motor blowing up and this is the end this is that's it I'm just gonna pull a gun and just shoot myself or jump off a bridge because this is the end of the world no it's not the end of the world look I survived it you know God pulled me through it I'm here home to my kids, you know what I mean? And now I, I can say here and just tell you this, that whatever you go through, my friend, in life, never give up. Mm -hmm. Never give up. God is there with you along the way. It is true. Sometimes we're in the valley, you know what I mean? And a way to go all the way to the top of the mountain, you know what I mean? It takes, it takes a climb, you know what I mean? So that being said, just hang in there you know what I'm saying and my belief is that uh, if you trust in God he's always gonna be there and he's there with you along the way every single time even though if you feel like you're helpless even though if you feel like there's nobody listening like you see in this video I, I felt helpless I felt alone I feel uh, rejected I feel like I felt everything you know what I mean and even though it's not something that crazy you know what I mean so you know i'm thankful to stay here and just kind of like encourage you and tell you that god loves you and never give up never give up always trust in his word god will always deliver you know what i mean never give up that's never. right never. Yeah. never give up so um i'm just gonna let you guys watch this video and uh, kind of see a little bit of the struggle and what i went through and uh Again, I'm so thankful to every single person, regardless if he was giving me a hand working on the car, uh, calling me or texting me, making sure I'm okay. And every single one of you guys were so awesome. And I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for this community. And uh, that's kind of my thing. You know, I built this car and I built it to drive it. You know what I mean? So therefore, uh, things like this will happen and will continue to happen. You know what I mean? But those are great memories. And I made awesome friendships along the way because of this incident. If this incident would not have happened, I would not have met some awesome people along the way. 
and some great memories uh, from this trip. So uh, also think about that. You know what I mean? Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So be thankful for that. I'm thankful for you. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, comment down below. Uh, if I offend anybody along this way on this trip with my comments, with my with my stress, I apologize. It's not my intention. Sometimes life gets to us all, and we tend to just kind of, you know, break down. And you know, and it is true. Sometimes when you sleep deprived and you're tired, and things are happening, you can take control on you. And I experienced it. And I'm telling you right now, just take a step back, relax, get some rest, and come back to it. You know what I'm saying? So, meanwhile, I'm just gonna let you guys watch this video. Let me know what you think. And I love you, respect each one of you guys. You guys are awesome. Awesome. Do you guys have a word for? Yes. yes. Let's see. Um, don't forget you're awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Basi, do you have a word for anybody watching this? Most of the time, I'm shy in the car. It's shy. okay. You don't have to be shy. You can be yourself. You know. Yeah. I'm not pressuring. If you don't want to say anything, you don't have to say anything. That's fine too. Okay. All right, Noah. No, 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 not Really, y'all just have something to say. But again, no pressure. I don't know what you wanted to say. Don't give me pressure. All right, guys, with your love, y'all be awesome. With your love. I was just minding my own business, uh, driving to a construction zone, which was like one lane, and they had a barricade, so we cannot pull up to anywhere. Uneven road, smack my open, didn't realize it, and I was drip, drip, till actually I think it just blew up the motor because uh, motor just shot up out of nowhere and uh, popped the hood, there's steam everywhere. Um, so uh, just giving you prayers. Uh, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm not sure who's gonna help me. So if you're watching this video, I'm already probably taking care. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's dripping. If you come over here, look at the back of the car. If you come here back of the car, there's oil. You can see how bad that oil is. It just, the whole back of the car is oil. I wish I would have stopped. I wish I would have stopped and checked. But anyways, all you can do, all you can do is just give God the glory and just move on. So. Let's see who's gonna come out of this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a post and see who's gonna help me drag the car somewhere, take it somewhere, buy another motor. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm like, I'm like, you know, seven hours away from home. I'm like four hours away from Ohio. So giving you prayers. I'm gonna go ahead and make some phone calls. So. Uh, God is good, no doubt. You gotta give the glory to God for everything. So there you go. So I don't know what's going on, but hey, go ahead and just get this car off the highway. Mustang just passed by, ripped the engine at me. He's probably saying, dang Hondas. Well, he's probably right. why everybody has to work. some of us I didn't blame for this I didn't ask for this 
frustrating, it's painful. You know, the, you know the amount of money and time and effort and, and disappointment. It's, most of it, what it is is disappointment, you know? That I want to make it to the show support and connect with my people. So, we're going to have to take this uh, splitter off. Yeah, look at that. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. Impressive, impressive. Can you believe that? We are definitely getting somewhere with this. With somebody just look at this. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe this just happened to me. Oh my gosh. I'm having like a, uh, what do you call it, one of those things. I'm having like a moment right now, you know? So, I know. I know what y'all thinking. He deserves it. He deserves it. You know? You know, he's too crazy. He deserves all of this. Oh, he might be right. But what can he do, you know? Stay positive for all of it. Give God the glory and just keep moving forward. That's all you can do. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hoping it's done, done. Open is done. Oh man. Oh man. Dinga boy. This blows it. Take this uh, plug off. Uh. Let's see what's going on here. That's a metal, so it's probably part of the rod. So there's definitely something broken inside the motor.
The inner is gonna hit. So we're gonna have to back it up and put like a two by four or something, no? You can raise it up the trailer, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, you stuff around. Well, I did this one time. Yeah, yeah. So, we got this nice gentleman right here wanting to help out. Hopefully, we'll get money. Good morning, just willing. Yeah, yeah, willing. <laughs> there are good people out there in this world, so I'm very thankful for that, you know. I don't know if you saw and kind of give you a little bit about me. I'm kind of the opposite, I like to pay it forward always. I'm usually the guy that stops on the side to help somebody and I'm not the one stop on the side broken that's down thing, man. So that's awesome. I really appreciate that Hey brother, can I call you back? All right, thanks. If not just call me back. I'm just over here on the side of the road trying to figure some stuff out Sorry, just trying to get this car on the trailer. It's all loaded up. We're gonna head out to uh, Indianapolis. Take it to a shop and take it apart, see what's going on with it. Go from there. Just wanna, just wanna appreciate you, this guy right here, hey, for coming down. Like I don't even know who he is. His son is in, follows me apparently on social media and then uh, say, hey dad, go out there and help this out. Uh, go out there and help this loser, you know? That's it, man. With this little Honda stuff, you know, lawnmower, you know? Can get it for That's beat, right. Beat motorsports. That's right, that's right. So, uh, we here, I got dropped off at the pilot, the guy that dropped me off. Uh, his trailer didn't have some lights that weren't working. He didn't want to get busted, so I said, hey, I'll take you as far as I can go. Uh, but uh, I have to make it home before uh, it gets dark, so <laughs> drove me an hour and a half, roughly. And uh, dropped me off at this pilot. So now I'm waiting on uh, Kyle and other uh, uh, social media followers. And uh, awesome dude down to earth, and uh, I think there's a few group of them. Don and uh, there was uh, the other guy that I was just talking to. Uh, what's his? Uh, yeah, this guy, Kevin uh, Seven Sixty. This guy right here. I was just talking to him too. He's part of the group, so I was like, "Yeah, we're a whole bunch of guys, and uh, we've been following your belt and uh, what you do and stuff, and we're a big fan of uh, of your work. So we're definitely gonna give you guys." We're definitely going to give you a hand, whatever it takes to get you back on the road. So I'm very thankful for that. Uh, no, I'm not crying. I've just got some bad allergies and I feel like everything just kind of crushing on me right now. Uh, my health is just kind of taking control and this car and uh, usually I'm not stranded like this, you know, you know, side of the road or just kind of people's mercy, you know, hundreds of miles away from home. It kind of gives you a little bit of perspective, uh, you know, of how to value life, you know. You know you're looking at this car, you know, it's it's cool, it's, you know, it's nice. Uh, but that's not all, 
you know what I mean? That's not all. The, if we and if I let these things to these possessions take over my life, it's gonna ruin me. And uh, this is just a lesson learned to me and to you guys out there watching this. There's gonna be a moment in your life when you're gonna hit this uh, hard bottom. Uh, I would say hard bottom, but very uh, uh, difficult, very uh, struggling situation that uh, we can either choose to move on and do the best and see how we can fix it, or we're just gonna let this ruin us. We're gonna let this destroy us take our peace away uh, I believe that everything happens for a reason I believe that uh, you know everything will go through life uh, has a uh, purpose and the purpose of struggle is to make us stronger as we go through those things it helps us and it helps me to overcome more and harder problems in the near future so for example, if this situation that me car breaking down, be on the side of the road, be stranded, you know, hardly just be on the side of the road, stuck there forever. Uh, somebody's tripping right here, just looking at me like, is this guy gonna move or what? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's tripping. Yeah, I can move. So this one, he's like tripping, bro. I can move the car, bro. If it's tripping, I have no problem, you know? You just can, you can come out of your uh, semi and just come here and say, hey, man, can you please move your car? I can move the car. Kind of lost my, uh, lost my thought there, you know? He's probably still going to pull it here, you know? Uh, but anyways, uh, if we let those things kind of really get to us, we don't learn anything from it. You know, we go through this life and, you know, we get out of it and things uh, turn out okay. We fix those problems, whatever, and that's all it's to it, you know. But the idea is to be able to adapt to these problems and be able to encourage and uplift and help others as they go through these problems. Now, your problems might not be like this, you know. You might not get stranded like I did, you know what I mean? So, that being said, you know, just, uh, you know, do your thing, you know what I mean? Just do your thing, my friend. This guy on the 80 wheeler, he's tripping, man. <laughs> Monitor's killing me. I'm waiting for these people to come get me. And whenever they get here, uh, we go. Let me go see what's up with this guy, you know? Maybe I have to move the car. So, got this nice gentleman up in here. The Vatos local over here with the Subaru. And this other Vato local up in oh, here. Man. Everybody's Vatos. Anyways, they keep oh, safe wow. the day. It's the second load up. Uh, we're gonna take it back to uh, Illinois. Good, good old Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. Indianapolis. Yeah. And then put it in the garage, take it apart, see what's going on. And I'll go from there. Actually, I had some nice uh, police officer there in the corner. Just actually uh, give us a hand. As you can see him right there. The two cups right there. Give us a hand to push it on the on the trailer. And uh, actually, they're inside right there, you know. So, if I walk out there with the camera, they'll be like, "Yo, man, put the camera down, man. What are you trying to do, man?" So we here in uh Indiapolis. Indiapolis. Can't even talk. So uh, we brought the car over. Can't take all these guys enough for everything they done to bring me here. And uh, we took the oil pan off. And uh, there's uh, metal shavings everywhere. And that's the part of the oil pump. That's what happened. See the metal shaving, so it's a done deal. So we have this awesome Vatos locals up in here. So tonight we're gonna tear it apart. We're gonna take the we're gonna take the whole motor off the car, and uh, 
yep that's the plan order's done so uh I'm gonna go ahead and set this right here for a few So, uh, here you guys, you see what happened there? Starvation ate up onto that um, chem cap. See that? That's how it's supposed to be. Got these awesome fellas up in here. So, we had this nice gentleman up in here, bought a K24. Uh, how far did you come with it? About an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. Uh, Doing a motor for Monica, and uh, we got uh, these guys here just stripping it down, taking all the old stuff out. As you can tell, right here in the Midwest, there's a lot of rain and rust and uh, corrosion and stuff like that, you know. But uh, we're just trying to kind of get it in there, you know, get it work done. He is the new, well, used uh, new motor to the car. Uh, got the Type S oil pump, baffle. Got that little deal plug right there. Make sure you pull that out when you do it. New tension off my motor, which is new. I use my guides, which is after motor, which looks like they're in good shape. And then swap the VTC gear, which you know is good. And now we're gonna torque it down and uh that's pretty much it we're just gonna seal it back up after you seal everything back up we're just gonna clean up the motor a little bit and just assemble time <laughs> right he's like nah i don't want none of this <laughs> Shit, i'm out of here so yeah but let's get it to read the red dot and if it goes dark he has a red light right here okay okay nothing weird you know you can just all around right. everybody's face, you know. All right. Well, we missed the good part. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Struggling putting the engine in. Oh, this was on the other side, huh? That was not. We got people from Long Beach, Nashville. Where are you from? Arkansas. Arkansas. Man. Arkansas. Long Beach. 
Arkansas. No, San Diego. Yep. San Diego. San Diego, yeah, I see some San Diego, but Arkansas? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Never. Like, <laughs> it's like, yo, man, I know this one clean integra, man. This dude's from Arkansas. Be like, get out of here. You playing with me? What, Arkansas? <laughs> <laughs> like, seriously, who do you know from Arkansas? Like, no one, like, just you. Bro. Like, <laughs> like, seriously, like, Arkansas. Okay, like, yeah, I know of this one built from Arkansas, you know? <laughs> you know, like, nah, dude. It's just, it's a weird bottle, man. He's not even Hispanic, he's like a straight up Romanian. <laughs> he's acting like he's Mexican or something. People you know, take it offensive, you know? I'm like, dude, I used to work construction. People come to a job site and be like, man, this guy's Vato, he's crazy, man. He's crazy, because all the time I just play around, you know? And then I just kind of kept up with that, man. So what do you do for a living? Uh, stuff like this, just work on, uh, not like performance like this, but like, you know, work on people's cars and Try to hustle, you know, mm -hmm. pay bills. Uh -huh. uh, try to flip a car on the side if I can, you know, kind of like what Don does. But yeah, it's high mileage, Arkansas, it's not the place for any of that, really, you know. But mm -hmm. whatever I can get my hands on, you know, as far as car related, you know. Yeah. But uh, other than that, you know, so you got the. I want to know too. Oh, awesome. But uh, what I did before, I did electrical, man. I did electrical for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And I went to school for nursing. But didn't pass my inkleg, so I don't work as a nurse right now. Yeah, I heard that's that's a pretty hard man, test. Man, you should know this guy. He knows, he knows what's going like on, you know? <laughs> so you want to run like this? Uh, this one? Run? Yeah. Well, this is going to run through here. I'm glad you asked, you know? Yeah, because I remember how it was. We need a GoPro hey. mount. Come out on your head. Take that off. Or go underneath. Go underneath that. Uh, maybe underneath. Huh? Somebody's watching, huh? Hey, watch the paint, Philip. I told, I told, uh, I told hey, Daz, like, hey man, watch me, cause you know you think I know everything, and watch me, I'm gonna misplace something, you know, like. And then you just kind of left it, like, oh, I thought you knew what you're doing. <laughs> sometimes I get caught up talking or not paying attention. I'm frustrated. I'm sick, you know. It's like, why didn't you put the turbo kit on? Going on motor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now looking at the everything is like, dude, what motor? Like it's all back there, you know? Like that, you don't feel like none of this happened, you know? I can't believe how fast this got done. Bro, we didn't fuck around. Okay, he's still young. Yeah. Oh, we didn't dang. Fuck around. Yeah. We I forgot it was right hand time. drive. But so, you, did you expect this to happen? No. When you say, hey, he said, like, uh, okay, well. Well, it's done. This poor thing. Banging shit at six o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's like, okay, well, hey, you gotta like, take this apart, you know? I'm like, <laughs> that's I'm wild. Like, uh, he's like, right now? I'm, I'm like, like yeah. he's I'm like, like, so what are we gonna do? I'm like, dude, you we're gonna take out this whole damn motor right now. Yeah, I'm stuck around. I'm stuck around the knee. So, what are we gonna do? I was like, take this shit out. This shit's nice, huh? Yeah, it's cool. That's why I can't be like that, so because it's not fixing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like, seriously? Like, we're doing this? Like, okay. Dude, this guy props more hardcore. Like, it's like we've known this nigga like, for like 10 years. Yeah, if you're at my house, like, okay, man, let's start fresh tomorrow. No, we'll go beast mode. <laughs> got some protein or something. So, so if I go down there, I break down, I better use your lift, bro. <laughs> bro, you better give me your garage, let me rent. Everything, bro. bro. Motorcycle, lift, whatever. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna ride the dirt bike, pop wheelies and shit. You know, all of that, man. Yeah, I had a black wash right here, mm -hmm. and it's gonna shake a little bit. And how, and how you run your throttle cable? Okay, so throttle cable goes through here. Is that a uh, custom throttle, throttle cover? Is that one too, Daniel? Yeah. What kind of throttle cable is that? Oops. Oh. Right hand drive. Oh. Like that? Yeah, this is gonna be done. Is it K2 there. or something? Um, was there a washer on here or no? Uh, no washer, it was just a pin, I think. That would have had that, yeah. I don't remember with the triple setup if I had it like this. Just start throwing on the triple kit first and then I'll worry about Who's that, Kyle? Who's that? Hey, you throwing a turbo back on? Yeah. Is he tying all this stuff? Uh, he, he tied that. 
Yeah, yeah. I didn't pick that up. We were up to like 5 o'clock. That is, we can take Man. a lot of over here. Came back today, got off work, helping with the other Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good mission right here. Yeah. He's rocking two different wheels, RPF1s and TEs on one side. You want to hold this, Tommy? Hey, Danny, I'm going to use the bathroom. Yeah, go ahead, man. Is it, uh... Go in, turn right, and then it's on the left. Y'all take your shoes off too, right? Yeah, we Asian, fool. <laughs> Why are you even asking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. Shouldn't even be a question. It's a faint thing that went up. You gotta pull on it. What's going on over here? It's kind of weird, huh? That's your uh, speed signal going back. So, how far do you guys drive up here? You guys have them on your mustache right here, bro. Yeah, we're finished. Left 6.30. 6.30? 6.30, what time is it now? You guys been cruising all day? Yeah, a lot of stops. Damn. Should be another one for the reverse, right? Reverse light? Yeah. Okay. That's low when you have freaking Integra on your arm. <laughs> so she has this car around. Oh, no, damn, man. man. You better step up your game. <laughs> you better step up your game. Good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Issues. Mm -hmm. Can I get a fix here? Please, can I get a fix here? So who else is supposed to come? Other I than... think this is it. Oh, is it? it? No. Uh, Andy? Oh, right? um, no, yeah. Johnny and... Uh, oh, yeah, Johnny. Cameron. On Cameron. So, a right-hand drive EG. Yeah. And a Spoon EK9. And a Spoon EK9. Oh, man, I'm looking forward with that. Well, that's it. Let's go. Yeah, that's it. Don't put me on camera. Oh. <laughs> hey, how you like the suspension, bro? Oh, that K2 man, it's sort of pretty, pretty gnarly, pretty solid. You know? Pretty solid? Yeah. What do you got on there? Oh, K2. K2. You, you got the hookup on K2? It's my integrity. Yes. Yeah. This is my map, right? That one's TPS. You got anything for sale, Dan? Map says so. No, I'm not even asking, bro. No. You, you keep everything, right? T. Ah, I remember I did it. Yeah. One's backwards. I would have burnt them. I would have burnt them. Yeah, you would have burnt them. Map says right here. No, I don't have nothing, man. You don't have nothing? No, I'm talking about oh. nothing for sale. Oh, that's good. I tried it many years ago, bro. Oh my, this nigga got the same car as me? Oh, that fool got like gang parts for me. Damn, what you got? Nothing. I got, I got parts, but I'm using them. Yeah, he has all the dope parts, but he only got rid of them. Oh, yeah. I want it's, it's either. Like mm. You got everything I want. <laughs> yeah, him and his freaking goddamn cousin has everything I want. You walk in his his cousin's house? S2000, CR, 564 tops. The hood. Freaking, dude, it's great. Mega rims in the boxes. Brand new. Like crazy. crazy rare shit, bro. Freaking mugging kits everywhere. Just sitting in the garage. Bumpers is <laughs> everywhere, dude. <laughs> Freaking crazy. He's like, I thought I was gonna go eyeball. He's like, 
you gonna bring your stock ass S two thousand? I was like, yeah. He's like, why don't you come down here and put the Mega rims and put the hard top on, fool? <laughs> <laughs> Borrow that shit. I was like, no, I'm just cruising over their stock. With the AC blast on me, I'll be good. Yeah, AC must say. Oh, I love my AC. AC. Guys, yeah. YG had, PG had AC. Oh, not for long, I took it off. Oh, what, which, which car? The Blue G. Oh, the Blue G? Yeah. That shit was nice, dude. Yeah. Uh, that, dude, the guy you sold it to, he has a freaking Porsche? Or well, Ferrari? He's got all kinds of stuff. Really? His wife is... Wealthy? Uh, one of those e-commerce e -commerce business. Mm -hmm. uh, selling shampoo. Started the company at the beginning, you know how that is. Yeah. Launched the company with those people and now she's making bank. So if I tell how much, number that if I tell how much she's making, she's not gonna believe me. Take a guess how much she's making a month. Think high. 60K. I said much? think high, man. A month. <laughs> oh, a month? Is she make, a she month. Break, she's breaking it in like huh? that? You should show me the bank account. I mean, oh, he shit. quit, he retired. He used to make 150K working on casinos, fixing machines and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So he rig them. <laughs> I mean, more, power, machine, more power to him, you know. I, I tell him all the time, hey, blessing to you, man. Like, I'm happy you're doing great, you know. Uh, but I think something about her money, you know, that he doesn't spurge, you know, mm -hmm. very much, you know. Can I, can I wash my car now? Can you move your car? Please? Uh, this is. You're gonna have no front lid if I pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like the picky work, you know. Somebody want to work on the suspension? That's good too. If not, the whenever I get over here, you know, whichever, you know. Let's put in some work so we can go through this car meet. Yeah. Get that other side. Yeah, right there. Everything down start. Got it? Oh, hold this right here. Come down here. Oh. Hold this. Hold yeah, this. I was just thinking, man. This guy's got issues, man. You know, twist it then. Like twist it. Oh, is that? What's the uh, Right there. Right here. You got the, uh, the boats for it? Yeah, the bolts should be on the table. Is it down star bolts? One is. Watch out, bro. It's dripping. Oh, right here. And. Oh, that's right there. Hey, you know. Are you still recording? Yeah, you want me to put it down or? Uh, I'm still recording. Right here. Yeah. No, we have to put the what the freaking tuck radiator in first before we put the trash bar in. Stuff, you know what I mean? Like what's what and where where it goes. Still we got you, bro. All right, man. Yeah. All we know is Honda's. Alright, I feel like one put put, put one third is strip, man. On the way? You have to put it in straight. Top and bottom on the same size, so I think they have the little spacer on them. So this, these two go on the bottom, and the downstar go up top? No, that down two go on the bottom. Okay, that Those was, two that was right down. Okay, I got it. Put it down here, I don't know where you put it back. 
Yeah, because if you put it the other way, it's gonna it's gonna strip it, you know. Yeah. It's kind of like a step down to keep that uh, half shaft center. The pin was over the A. The pin was over there on the table.